scare me like that. Looking in a mirror. Back up. That sneak does make sense. Well, good point about Spider. -Man. Coordinates are showing a stash near the top of the Braxton building. How does he come up with this stuff? Think you have enough lasers, Uncle? And here we are. in this skyscraper. Ever heard of the Braxton Heist? Uh, no. Exactly. It was my debut score as the Prowler. First time working with the crew, too. We went in to steal prototypes from Braxton's secret tech division. But this kid double-crossed us. Who? Never got her name. She was good. Pro. Thief in the truest sense of the word. Wasn't mad, though. It was a valuable lesson. Starting to get why you were dad's toughest case. <laughs> Good looking out on the stage, kid. One day you got the best of Uncle Aaron. Not many people can do that. ends at the beginning. What does that mean? What just happened? You have to go through me. Find that fake Mysterio. Now back to the other guy. 
guy. He's not listening. He has his tricks, you know. No, we're safe. Oh, he's acting very weird. You mean weirder. He's gone quiet all of a sudden. Won't speak to me. Do we have a way out in case he gets violent or something? We'll be fine. Here he comes. Let's talk more later. Sounds like Cole and Betsy were scared of Beck's change in behavior. Another call from Betsy. Spider-Man? Cole and I are a bit concerned. He said he was gonna kill us. Please, Cole, don't panic. <sighs> Spider-Man, we found out Quentin lied to us. Instead of going to counseling, he went somewhere else. When we confronted him, he said some threatening things and then left. Hopefully he just needs to cool off, but if you see him or hear from him, can you let us know? Thank you. <sighs> This just went from bad to worse. Hmm. Got a new voicemail. Spider-Man, we need to meet. Come to Coney Island, I have an urgent matter to discuss with you. Well, that doesn't sound like a trap at all. Just hope he hasn't hurt Betsy and Cole. Okay, where's Beck? Welcome, Spider-Man. If you're looking for Betsy and Cole, they are no longer with us. You killed them? Don't act surprised. You've known from the beginning who you're dealing with. What the... I 
I spent years behind bars, waiting for technology to catch up to my vision. And now, thanks to you, Whoa. my illusions are inescapable. You are mine for eternity. Guys everywhere. But this is like the other illusions. The more baddies I take out, the closer I get to escape. Nice try. Clever spider. You can me. I am infinite. When you are dead, the city will finally give me the respect of my ass. You want respect? Then stop all this!
time to get out of here. The sim is down. Get it back! I'm trying. <sighs> It was Quentin. He made us do this. Where is he? Help. In here. Somebody. Somebody help. I knew you'd find me. still have a lot of questions. This... Should clear things up. So can I tell everyone Mysterio's a good guy now? <laughs> Mysterio will always be a villain. Just as Spider-Man will always be a hero. It's when you start looking at the people behind the masks that things get messy. I think he's on to us. If so, there's only one solution. We need him alive. What do we do, just tie him up or something? Yes, good idea. We set him up as the fall guy in case anyone catches on. Yeah, like tell everyone he went full Mysterio? Exactly. He would be the one most likely to steal money, not the two women who aren't former supervillains. Now we just need to figure out how to get the richest people in the city into these Mysteriums. Okay, but there's still some code that I haven't figured out, and the Spider-Man will help us with that. Ha, <laughs> that's brilliant. Hero's always looking to help. And if all goes to plan, we'll have millions in the bank before anyone catches on. And when they do, Quentin goes back to prison, and we retire in style. Looks like the biggest illusion was Betsy and Cole's innocence. Wonder where Beck is going from here. Huh, these don't look like happy plants. I'm so glad you could help. Clearly we've got a failure to thrive and we haven't yet been able to diagnose the reason. Can you sort it out for us? Thanks. These plants should be doing much better. Something's making them sick. Water quality is crucial. I should analyze that. All right, my little plant friends. What's got you feeling so sick? Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Dang it. Let's see here. Looks 
Looks like you've got some kind of pathogen. But what kind? Science, I love you. Huh. Looks like this pathogen usually affects plants in the river. But fish are immune to it. I think I just found our cure. Let's splice some genes. With a little genetic engineering, I can make you guys immune to this pathogen just like these fish. Now I just need to get a cooperative sample. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Where are you? I promise you'll be back in the water in two shakes of a fin. Come on, guys. Your plant neighbors just need to borrow your genes. This one won't work. Gotta catch another. some plants gotcha you gotta take a quick sample don't worry buddy this won't hurt that's one slippery sample secured now to take it back and splice it with the plants Greens, let's get you feeling better. I need to insert this fish gene. If I splice this fish gene into your plant genes, I can give you guys immunity to this pathogen just like them. can't understand me, but trust me, it's pretty cool. You're gonna make our community a whole lot healthier. Okay, Feast should be able to work with these. Can't wait to see him thriving. You'll be feeling better in no time. was worried Craven's people hurt his kid. That's why he blew up. Marco was taken to the raft before he could find her. I need to make sure she's safe. Maybe there's more crystals back by where it all started.
All right, let's help out EMF. Where's that kiosk? Hello, Peter. As you can see, these cassava plants are alive and quite hardy, but grow too slowly for food production. We want to hybridize them with a more productive variety and would welcome your help. Cassava plants growing too slowly, huh? Better head to ESU. A professor there just discovered a new variety that grows impressively fast. They'd make a great hybrid. Their rare variety of the Asian cassava plant grows like crazy. They'll only need a single leaf to splice with ours. The professor is always looking for practical applications. She'll be super into doing a collab. Oh no. No. Someone stole the cassava? I've got to track down the thieves before they get too far. Maybe there are some traces of pollen still in the air. Got it. Glad this plant is a wind pollinator. It releases so much pollen, I can see the path they took. Now let's see where these pilfering plants are. At. There it is. It's like a rock star plant with all that security. Hey, uh, Spider-Man! I've got something to plant! My fist in your face! We have to win! I need this plant for an experiment to help feed New York if that means anything to you! No? Really? In my sight! What kind of plan? that plant I couldn't walk far all right buddy one quick stop at feast and then we'll get you back home glad we nipped this nefarious plant in the bud see what I did there yeah I knew you would wait your name's not Audrey is it Parker stop talking to the plant Okay, now to borrow a bit of your super special genetic material to help your cousins grow faster. Okay, so we want some extra growth genes from our guest plant. Let's see. to you. It did that machine thing. Did I say that? I followed you straight back to you. Pretty dumb. <laughs> Let's try that again. How do these fit together? This should create a cassava that grows more quickly without sacrificing the yield. This is some cutting-edge splicing tech they've developed. Makes it possible to meet food supply challenges without sacrificing safety and transparency. And there we go. The plant will be secure in this workbench until ESU can buff up their greenhouse security. Feast will really be able to improve their crop yield with these new hybrids. Hey, 
MJ. Hey, just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. There's another crystal. But no sand minions? Not that I'm complaining. Giant spikes. Is the crystal at the center? It's crumbling. Gotta keep it up. His subconscious is starting to fight back. There's the crystal. I tried to be the best dad for you, Kimia. I really did. All I can do is hope they didn't get you and that you're safe at your mom's. I love you so much, Mia. We'll be together again one day. I know it. Hey, been calling you. My source at the raft told me Marco keeps repeating some address in Queens. Sending it to you now. I think you should check it out. Her mom's. Maybe that's where Kimia is. Hey, MJ, you think you could patch me through to Marco at the raft? Hang on while I look into it. Okay, all set. Patching him through now. Spider-Man. Sorry for my... welcome mess. Thank you. You helped me get my mind right. I'm sorry for not listening. Guess I never got to know the man behind the sand. But I think Kimi is at her mom's. On my way there now. If she's there, do me a favor. Give her those crystals. Something to remember me by. Of course. 
Take care of yourself, Flynn. She's okay. Wish there was more I could do. Maybe I can ask some lawyer friends to help Marco with visitation rights. this Lance and a thumb drive they say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin but I know Norman I think through this crazy time, whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these, and I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree, and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, if you gene splice them together, we might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay. drones we salvaged from the field studies? We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city, and of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but 
There's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us? Oh! One last thing. I... got a little something for you. We're in good health. Love you. enough data, we put an end to this hunt. Don't care how cute they are, they gotta go! I'm slowing down, gotta hit the slipstream! Mama Bird is about to be very angry! If I can't catch it, almost got it all. No more data from this world. Finish download. This can't be. All the targets share the exact same DNA. It's all the same person. Okay. Officially creeped out. I need to solve this. One more drone should do it. <laughs> 